horse to summer up there. Yeah, what happened? Oh, I feel sift. Well, you went for a little walk, didn't you? I went for a big walk. Yeah, oh gosh, that was savage. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah. Ready? Boom. Goodbye. Okay, so we're down Nash Point today to check out the 14mm f1.4 Sigma Art. It's a really interesting lens and I'm liking the look of it. I have actually brought Gav along with us today. Where, as we can see here, you can actually put rear ND filters in there. Whereas any of the previous Gen 40 millimeter lenses, if it wasn't the, the Sigma or if it was the Samyangs, they were pretty much kind of useless. Well, not useless for video, but you'd have to expose with your shutter speed, I guess. You know, you couldn't really have a fairly neat neutral density filter solution. So this is very, very cool. What's the cap like then? The, the cap is very, very cool. Kind of got like a built-in wallet, which is very, very neat. So this is for putting the rear ND filters in it. One of the main reasons I love 14 millimeters is they are such an easy lens to shoot with. Okay, so first shot, we're gonna go for a shot of the Nash point, the actual cliff face. Uh, we're gonna use these rocks here as a foreground. And we're also gonna aim to get a reflection in this little bit of water that we have of the, of the cliff face. So yeah, we've got our foreground, a nice reflection, and then our subject. The, the kind of level of uh, depth you get, even with a wide angle, which is crazy. My impressions of it is I totally would love one of these lenses. Okay, this is probably the coolest thing I am seeing here at the moment. So we are going to set up the tripod super duper low to the ground uh, and aim to get the camera kind of in this little shadowy, shadowy area shooting up. If you see the X on the screen, running down so we know that the stack is centered and then we've also playing with the going back to composing the uh, images with light and shadow so we're composing this bottom this bottom x as a shadow and i don't know if you can actually see there is a little bit of little bit of water and stuff running under there so yeah we're gonna see how it turns out and we will edit it all together and hopefully it looks cool we are just about set up for this next shot although Vanguard, we have a small casualty, but that's not gonna stop us. Let's get a shot and let's get the comb. Overall, I'm very impressed with this lens so far. Would be very good to spend a little bit more time with it and have some chance to shoot some astrophotography. It is currently a new moon, so it is not gonna be ideal for shooting astrophotography. I'm gonna walk back to Stu, and I'm just thinking about this, this lens and even its use cases in video. You know, 14 millimeter is probably one of the most widely uh, widely used focal lengths in a lot of like Hollywood productions uh, and cinema kind of stuff. So it would be very interesting, be very interesting to see some different kinds of filters. At the moment, I've actually got it set up on the Vanguard tripod with an extension pole that allows me to move the camera a little bit more easily with also keeping some gesture control over what I'm doing. When it comes to using such a wide lens, what's really great is actually interacting with it, where you've got your hands in the foreground looking big and stuff like that, and then obviously you look tiny because you're actually a mile away on the actual lens. But it's actually really good. Okay, so we just finished up with the shoot now. Really impressed with what the 14 offers you. I must admit, really, really impressed with the uh, Sigma. Again, really like their lenses.